Quick start from the to make sure those boats can get away clean and fast, just as they're doing now. Off they've last Leander Thames, a repeat of last year's Wargrave final. This event only got put into the programme in 2021, so you're looking at the 2021 winners Leander and the 2022 winners Thames. Who's going to take it and make it 2-1? I know, you just feel this is such a, not a grudge match, but just there's so much pride in these boats, there's so much experience, so much expertise. They both know what this course means, what this regatta means, what this race means, and they will want this, you know, as much as anything they'll race this year, this is the one they want. And it's going to be an incredible battle down this course, because you can see right now, I mean, you've raced a lot more races than I have, Jess, but that power, that noise, that connection, that emotion, and yet it's got to be controlled, there's got to be a rhythm there, it's got to be confident. How you, what you're seeing now? It's a powerful boat, it's a noisy boat. Listen to those coxes shouting. You might have, few, have a few shouts up and down the boat, but exactly that, it's, it's precision, it's technical. You're moving along almost a metric turn of weight and you're trying to propel it down this course as quickly as possible. And right now, Thames have got the slip. I struggle with these angles. I, you know, until it swings around right next to you, you're thinking this is just a fantastic performance right now from both of these crews. There is such a, we keep saying this, it's such a long way to go. It's, a, it's just this ferocity of intensity. There's just brilliant example of 16 amazing physical athletes powering down the course. Two coxies very wisely, very calmly leading them on, driving them on. And Thames again have taken this lift. I think they're pushing it out to a few seats here. Strong and powerful. The favourites for this event, Thames in the black. They've been dominant in women's club rowing all season, but that doesn't mean anything when you get to this start line. The bows are there, they're pointing towards us, they're coming to the finish line, but right now they're in that first third, and Thames have the slightest of advantages in the black on the left of your screen now. And if I'm being really precisely looking at these angles are fantastic to see. The, the Thames blade work just looks slightly neater, slightly more together. You can just see a little bit of gaps between the Leander crew, and it's, again, these, these blustery conditions. You can see the flags to the right of the screen, well, you could. They are blowing all over the place. So actually to get all eight blades completely together is a big ask at this point, even with crews at the standard. So Thames just having the better of the, the technical side, I think, and that's giving them the advantage down the course. What makes these boats so hard, Catherine? Why are the eights the biggest, fastest boats, also almost one of the hardest ones to row? There's just so many people, there's so much going on, there's so many, you know, you want these different skills, these different abilities, you want these different sort of mindsets coming in, and then you need to somehow corral them all to this one focus, this one intention, this one amazing commitment. And you know, you've done this more, but when it works, it is, there's nothing else, it is just glorious to see. Helen Barton, Georgie Haynes, Sam, Sarah Portsmouth, Abigail Pape, Annie Sharp, Olivia Rogerson, Emily Croker, Donna Matthews, and their Cox Antonia Stutter. They are a length and a little bit of clear water up. Yeah, they won't be getting you know overconfident yet, but in an eight, once you've got that length, you start to feel that now you can, you know, the, the, start, I think we'll start to see even more relaxation coming into that Thames crew. You might get a bit more length into this really hard wind that they're racing into, and that confidence starting to ooze through them all, and this belief of, yes, this is our day today. The dealing with the pressure of going into this race as favourites, what does that feel like, Catherine? You know, what? The, one of the biggest things when you're asked about what it feels to be a favourite, in, in a way, yes, it can bring pressure expectation, but would you, you know, you'd rather be the favourite than not the favourite because it means you have won more than anyone else. So, you know, with that comes a, I don't know, I think you can sit a little taller, be a bit more confident. You know, I was there when, when these two crews were boating um, down in the boat tent area. They had so much support and so much applause, and it was wonderful to see at this incredible regatta, the women's crews really holding their own at this level. Can you hear that roar? That is the Remenham roar. Thames Rowing Club are going to be standing in those yellow, those marquees there, shouting on their yellow boat, and they are pretty confident, sitting a couple of lengths up 
on this very strong Leander Club crew. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, this Leander crew is good as well. They have quality, quality athletes in it. What would you think the Cox will be saying to them right now? You've got to believe. You've got to keep in this race. Anything can happen. We're an outdoor sport. We're on a moving river. They're not giving up. Look at that. We look down there and see the bow of Helen Kirkpatrick. She's leading that boat. She's in the front of that crew. And some really fancy, nice rowing here. It's not gone scrappy. They are still are in this game. Yeah, and let's not forget this is Leandro's home course. They will know every inch of this river. They'll know exactly how far they've got to go to the finish line. They know the big grandstands are still to come. They will use that crowd noise to try and lift them again. But they will need something very, very special to pull back on this Thames crew, because this Thames crew is just looking better and better as it comes down the course. Thames, this is how to row an eight. It is precise. It is calm, it is low, and it is powerful. Are oh, Leander going to respond? It is now or never, Leander. And Leander are doing a, you know, a great job. They are still in this race. They, they, they will know now they've got a big chunk to make. They won't be able to feel the Thames crew close to them. They know they're running out of space. And that Thames crew is just sitting up and almost soaking up that atmosphere now. What I love is this very, you know, they're getting locked on so early, this Thames crew. They really have got a great pickup and just moving the boat along horizontally. That bow bolt's hardly moving at all. They really have a very flat drive, and that makes for a very efficient boat. Their coach, Thomas Ma Mappy, in that launch, looking down at this crew that he has coached all year, and he's seeing this come to fruition. There's Mappy staring down at his crew. Not allowed to speak or shout in those launches, so you've got to hold that emotion in. And this must feel good as this Thames crew approach the last few hundred meters. This is going to be it for Thames. Hold your heads, keep doing it. I know, and this is when you really need to make sure, you know, from the Cox's point of view, they won't be able to hear each other. They'll be shouting and there'll be deafening noise. And you need to keep them relaxed, keep them focused, not too much emotional adrenaline as they come bursting towards the line. It looks so relaxed, but it's super powerful. Antonia Stutter, she's screaming at her crew to get across this finish line. They want this. They've been the fastest club women's eight all year. And it is really coming to a crescendo here as they take the Warbred Challenge Cup at Henley Royal Regatta 2023 over Leander. Isn't that amazing? See, I just, I, it, that never gets old, that reaction, that how much it means to these athletes, the relief, the exhaustion, the exhilaration, the joy, there's just so much celebration there. And as the Leander crew come alongside, you know, the exact opposite, it's hard, it's hard to lose these incredible races, but just being part of it is special and they should be, the Leander crew should be very proud of making this final. What a corking race, hands, into the air, screaming to the heavens. Antonia is absolutely ecstatic.